few weeks ago, it looked as if Ole Miss and LSU would be the deciding factor on who would win the SEC West. But coincidentally enough, both teams have disappointing losses to Arkansas that would ruin that dream. And while all the marbles might not still be on the line in this game, I still think Saturday in Oxford when the Rebs and Tigers go head to head will be a fun one. I'm going to break down the three key points to this game. To those outside of Baton Rouge and Oxford, they seem to miss the intensity of this rivalry. But in my opinion, Magnolia Bowl is one of the most heated games in the SEC. There's always mega trash talk between fans, and players on both teams let their heated emotions show up on the field. And the last couple years, the game has literally come down to the last few seconds. So I expect the same kind of heat to show up in Bot Hemingway this weekend. Although Leonard Fournette has been stopped the past two games, we all know what he's capable of when he breaks loose and he still leads the SEC in rushing yards. But even if Fournette is slowed down, Tigers have Brandon Harris at quarterback who continues to get better and better with each game. But I expect Fournette to come full force at the Rebels. And then for Ole Miss, they have the number one receiver in Laquan Treadwell. Treadwell is in a league of his own with his size, strength, and speed. And Rebels also have Chad Kelly at quarterback who leads the SEC in passing yards. And outside Treadwell, Rebels have five receivers with at least 25 catches this season to throw to. Similar to last year, Ole Miss started hot, but the steam has sizzled for this team. The Rebels sit at 7-3 and are still overcoming a shocking 53-52 loss to Arkansas. And just two weeks ago, LSU were playoff contenders. But after two straight losses to Alabama and Arkansas, Tigers just want to end the season on a winning streak. And it's important to note that LSU hasn't lost three straight games since 1999. So both teams are entering this game wanting to salvage what's left of their season and end with some success. So I expect a lot of passion to be played on the field. Ole Miss hasn't looked like the Landshark defense that fans know. But it's hard to overlook names such as Robert Kimdichie, Tony Connor, and Trey Elston. And despite all of Burnett's talents, it's been proven that he can be stopped. Ole Miss will have home full advantage, and they could be looking for some vengeance after last year's game when the Rebs' undefeated campaign ended in Baton Rouge. It'll be close, but I think Ole Miss pulls out the win. With Gridiron now, I'm Ashley Barnett.